Welcome to today's program. Today, we're gonna talk about charging your battery. And this workout is called your battery charging protocol. And it's a technique that can help you improve your mitochondrial health and your overall energy levels. So I want you guys to do something. Think of yourself as a human battery and your cells as tiny power plants called the mitochondria. These are organelles that provide the electrical impulses that give you energy throughout the day. However, just like your phone battery, mitochondria needs to be charged in order to function well. And without the right kind of charge, you will experience things like aging, loss of energy, chronic fatigue, and much more. So we want to improve our mitochondrial health, which means we want to improve the overall efficiency of these organelles. When our mitochondria are healthy, they function optimally, they can generate so much more energy. And you can use this energy to improve your metabolism, increase muscle contraction, build muscle, build your immunity, and so much more. So mitochondrial health is really important. Now, I want to introduce you to one more topic. It is called mitochondrial biogenesis, which is the process of building new mitochondria. And this is one of these signals that you get from high intensity exercises. So in short, when you push yourself really, really hard, your body recycles old and weak mitochondria and makes space for new and younger ones. These new and younger ones can help you feel more energized and rejuvenated. For longevity, especially, maintaining mitochondrial health is really important because as we age, our mitochondria starts to decline and that affects our metabolism and so much more. Even for sports, if you're looking at increasing sports endurance, muscle performance, things like mitochondrial biogenesis, which is making new mitochondria, will always help you out, helps you with everything. So you must be wondering, how do I increase my mitochondria? To do this, you've got to do a technique called sprints, but very specific sprints with a one to four work to rest ratio. For example, if you decide to sprint for 15 seconds, follow it up with one minute of rest. If you can start sprinting, then make sure, let's say you sprint for five seconds, then make sure you have a maximum rest of 20 seconds. Just follow one to four ratio in anything. Push yourself really, really hard. And you know, for peak performance, you want to do this three to four times per week. And it usually doesn't really take a lot of time, but it'll make sure it gives your mitochondria a boost. Another technique that I would like to introduce to you is the Tabata protocol. Now, Tabata training is a very popular high intensity interval training that has been designed to improve mitochondrial health. It actually came from Japan from a scientist called Izumi Tabata. And this involves performing 20 seconds of really high intensity exercise followed by 10 seconds of rest. And this is repeated for four minutes, which means you're gonna do about eight rounds. One of the keys about Tabata training is to really go all out, push yourself, push your limits for those 20 seconds. This triggers the body to go under the process of mitochondrial biogenesis, which means you're getting younger new mitochondria. And you can choose this with any exercise. You can do sprints, you can do cycling, you can do running, you choose. Some of the other ones that I have used is also things like squats, burpees, jumping jacks, mountain climbers, high knees. So again, to do a Tabata workout, choose an exercise, do it all out as fast as you can at high intensity for 20 seconds, then take a 10 seconds rest and follow this up for eight cycles, which is four minutes. Now, Tabata training has been deeply researched about. What it does is that Tabata training can help improve mitochondrial health, which leads to increased endurance in the body, increased metabolic function. And it also has shown to increase fat burning and muscle growth. And if that wasn't enough, we have something more for you. The next one on our list is also a high intensity interval training. It's called the Gibala training method. Yeah, the Gibala training method. And what it does is similar to Tabata, it involves short bursts of all out exercise followed by a small rest period. So here's how you do it. Choose an exercise that can work mostly large muscle groups such as cycling, rowing, or uh, running. Warm up before you do this and perform a high intensity interval for 60 seconds. That means one minute. Go as hard as you can for one minute and then take a 75 seconds recovery followed by one minute intervals of really all out training. Repeat this cycle for about eight or 12 times and that's Gibala training. And science supports Gibala training because it increases increases the demand for energy in the body, which leads to increased mitochondrial biogenesis, which you know by now, 
creating new mitochondria, and this can produce more energy more efficiently in the body. One example that I like to give for Gibala training is take a stationary bike, sprint on the bike for 60 seconds, followed by 75 seconds of rest. Do this eight to 12 times. You can also do this while you're running or using any other exercise. And one thing like all of these exercises I love is that in a very short amount of time, you can do quite a lot of work, but make sure you warm up and cool down. So that is how you recharge the battery in your cells. I hope you've taken notes, try it out and let me know how it feels. I'll see you tomorrow on the third day on developing power.